Welcome, my friends. Today, I invite you to walk with me on a path less traveled, one where we learn to disappear from the chaos of the world and find our true selves. This is not about vanishing physically, but dissolving the unnecessary attachments, the noise, the distractions that pull us away from who we are meant to be. When I first became a monk, one of the most profound lessons I learned was the art of disappearing. Not in a physical sense, but disappearing from the pressures and expectations that often dominate our lives. This is a process of letting go, of stepping back, of realizing that what truly matters is often hidden beneath layers of societal conditioning. We live in a world where we are constantly bombarded with information, expectations, and distractions. The world pulls us in many directions, telling us to be more, to do more, to achieve more. But in the process, we lose ourselves. So today, I want to share with you how you can disappear, not from life, but from the noise, the distractions, and the false identities you've built over time. And in this disappearance, you will transform. Act 1. Letting go of external expectations. To begin this journey, we must first let go of the external pressures that shape who we think we are. You see, when I entered the monastery, I was carrying years of expectations, not just from my family or society but from myself. We often become the characters we believe others want us to be. But how can you find yourself if you're constantly living for someone else? The first step to disappearing is to become aware of the masks you wear, acknowledge them and then let them go. Imagine a river flowing before you. Each time you recognize an expectation, a fear, or a label placed on you, drop it into that river and watch it float away. What remains after you've shed these layers? It is your essence, your true self. It is in this space of stillness that real transformation begins. Act 2. Embracing stillness. When you let go of the external noise, you create space for stillness. But stillness can be uncomfortable, can't it? We're used to filling our time, our minds, with distractions, believing that productivity equals purpose. But transformation happens in the quiet moments, in the spaces where nothingness resides. This is where you'll discover the seeds of who you truly are. In my early days as a monk, I would sit in meditation for hours, feeling the discomfort rise. The thoughts would flood in, old stories, anxieties about the future, but I stayed still. And in that stillness, I learned a valuable lesson. The mind will eventually quiet, and in that silence, you hear the whispers of your true self. To disappear from the noise of the world, you must learn to embrace stillness. Make space in your life for quiet moments. It is in these moments that you reconnect with your soul's calling. Act 3. Transforming through mindfulness. Now, you may ask, how does this disappearance lead to transformation? It's through mindfulness, my friends. When you begin to live each moment fully present, you stop reacting to life. Instead, you respond with intention. I remember the story of an old monk who was once asked how he stays so peaceful amidst life's challenges. He simply replied, when I walk, I walk. When I eat, I eat. This simplicity is the heart of mindfulness. When we disappear from the mind's chatter, we show up fully for our own lives. We begin to see beauty in the small things, a breeze on our face, the sound of rain, the feeling of gratitude for a meal. This mindfulness transforms us because it brings us back to the present moment, where life truly happens. Act 4. Living with Purpose. Finally, when you have disappeared from the noise, and when you've transformed through mindfulness, you can begin to live with purpose. But this purpose isn't about grand achievements or accolades. It's about aligning with your true values, living a life that reflects the deepest part of yourself. For me, my purpose is to serve. To share the wisdom I've gathered through years of silence, reflection, and connection with nature. But your purpose may be different. It could be to create, to nurture, to inspire. Remember, your purpose isn't something you find outside of yourself. It's something you discover within when you quiet the noise and let yourself simply be. So, how can you disappear and transform yourself? 1. Let go of external expectations. 2. Embrace stillness. 3. Transform through mindfulness. 4. Live with purpose. In this way, you disappear from the world's chaos and reconnect with your true self. And in this disappearance, you find peace. You find transformation. I invite you to take these lessons into your life. Find moments today to let go, to be still, to breathe deeply, and to reflect on what truly matters. The path to transformation isn't found in doing more but in being more fully present with yourself. 
If these words have resonated with you, take a moment to subscribe, share this message with someone who may need it, and comment below, what can you let go of today to begin your own transformation. Remember, my friends, the greatest journey is the one within. May you walk it with grace.